Hey guys, welcome out to the range. I'm getting ready to do some target maintenance today and I usually take my gear with me and a rifle because we have lots of wild critters out here and I know this for a fact because I repeatedly see their scat along the road and <laughs> those are some pretty big turds. So there is large wildlife out here. So anyways, um, when I took the rifle out, I realized I needed to show this to you guys. Um, when it comes to controlling the sling on your weapon, um, for the purposes of this being your nighttime gun, um, when you go to pick up the rifle, you need to make sure that you can rack it, unless you keep the thing chambered, and if you've got kids in the house, I wouldn't suggest that. Um, but uh, when, you, when you rack the rifle, your sling has to stay out of the way, and my sling runs right across the tube. Let me get the mag out of the way first. And because the type of webbing that I use is so thin, and yet it's actually tubular webbing, it racks right over the top of it. So the sling is completely trapped on the weapon. The ejection port, I should probably show you that. The ejection port cover does open enough for the casings to come out because the casings come out at an angle that isn't flat like this. They actually tend to come out with a slight bit of elevation to them. So you can see that the ejection port cover does stay out of the way. When I wind it around this to retain it, I wind it tightly around the stock and I force the bungee over the edge. So right now the bungee is actually stretched out, uh, which won't fatigue it by the way guys. Um, my, my slings have years of service with the bungee just constantly being used and haven't had any fatigue, mainly because I use uh, Bungie brand Bungie, which is US made. Everything that I, that I make, everything that I use to make my slings is, is US, US made uh, production. But anyways, um, to get this off, you can go either under or you can go over. Okay, you can go under this way or you can go over this way, but there you go. And now it's loose, it's over, and then into the sling you go. And to put it back on again, it runs along the rifle. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. Just a little bit of a stretch. And once again, that right there does not cause a problem because the charging handle goes right over the top of it. Accidentally round up. Actually, you know what? I can because I'm getting ready to go in the woods with it, so what do I care? So, yeah, so now it's chambered. So, to get into the sling, over the back. And remember, if you're talking about bump in the middle of the night, pick up your rifle, and deal with the problem in the darkness, you probably don't even really need your sling. The sling is there for the option if you do need the sling. But, uh, anyways, I wanted to show that to you guys as a very simple way to retain your sling. On your weapon because somebody asked me the other day if I sell um, do I have one on here no I don't not on this one um, if I sell uh, a retention strap to retain this thing you really don't need it because the bungee does the job for you um, if you do need a retention strap you see this right here on the bottom of the mag in fact I think I've got it on these actually no no yeah that's right so on the bottoms of these mags too you can see Ranger band all that is is bicycle inner tube just go to Walmart, grab yourself a bicycle inner tube. Please do not use a retired bicycle inner tube that's been in your, in your bike because it's going to have dry rot. Just grab a new inner tube and like you're talking like you now have, once you cut it, basically cut the valve off, you end up with this much. So you're talking six plus feet of really nice stout vulcanized rubber and it is so usable for so many different things. Um, light mounts, I mean, you name it. It's, uh, it's a really usable, a really usable band. Anyways, um, yeah, that's, I'm going to get out and do some target maintenance, but I wanted to show you guys that's one of the ways that you can retain your sling on your weapon. Um, thank you so much for your support, buying slings, making donations to keep this channel independent. I now have a forerunner underneath to pay for, so I need your support. Please thank you. As always, God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.